Arc 5, Chapter 72, Sword Saint vs. Previous Generation Sword Saint The Dragon Sword Raid was a sword of multitudinous enigmas. It was indubitable that, across generations, it was a treasured sword handed down the lineage of the Estrella family, which had given rise to sword saints one after another, but the origin of where that dragon sword had been granted to them was something that had not been passed down. A treasured sword of a tenebrous past, and furthermore, the deviousness of being incapable of being unsheathed by anybody but the sword saint. To be precise, even by the sword saint, it could be unsheathed only in times necessary. The treasured sword that had descended upon the divine dragon Volcanica by the hand of the first generation sword saint, Raid Astrea. In the past, when dragons had advanced upon in immense numbers, this legendary sword slashed all of them down altogether. Or perhaps it was instead but a simple, dull blade, a magical sword which augmented its might by breathing the blood of the enemy. Countless were the anecdotes enshrouding it, all devoid of evidence akin to mere fairy tales. Regardless, nothing was firm, neither existed any way to confirm anything. If there is one thing that could be asserted, the Dragon Sword Raid was the supreme sword that transcended treasured swords, legendary swords, or magical swords of any disposition. It was the extremity of the realization of steel titled the sword. There existed no steel surpassing it. Even for Wilhelm, who had been bestowed with the honor of a sword's the name of Vaughn, this was only the third instance across the entirety of his lifetime that he was laying his eyes upon the uncontaminated white blade. Reinhardt. With the jet black scabbard bearing engravings carved by the claws of the dragon in his left hand, and the dragon sword gripped in his right hand, was he. His red hair swaying in the wind, lording over the situation earnestly ahead with his blue eyes. It was nobody else but the current generation sword saint, Reinhard von Austria. Even Wilhelm was overwhelmed by the noble, majestically standing figure, inheriting sword saint, and becoming the sword of the kingdom as in royal guard, was his real grandson. This in fact was Wilhelm's first time witnessing his form stepping into the battlefield. Upon losing Theresia in the great subjugation, Wilhelm had left the Estrella family. His dispute with his son and grandson from back then yet held sway even after fifteen years unburied. Henceforth, for these past fifteen years, Wilhelm continued to pursue his wife, averting his eyes away from his family. Therefore, let it be the deterioration of his son, or the growth and accomplishments of his grandson, he had not been witness to anything. That was why, right now, he was overwhelmed by Reinhardt's figure. The one standing there was the Sword Saint, the being recipient of the love of the Sword God, blessed with the honor of possessing the ability to unsheathe the greatest sword, standing atop the wishes of swordsmen of all dispositions. That could only be the Sword Saint. Beholding that figure, Wilhelm remembered. He had long forgotten his agony. What he remembered was a different emotion. The deep emotion Wilhelm had felt when far, far back in the past, he had been spectator to the sword's dance of the sword saint, Teresia. Back then, Wilhelm felt the distance he would never be able to cover, a territory he would by no means be able to reach, and Wilhelm lamented the trifling nature of his sword talents. Yet, without decline, he swung the sword, continued swinging it, and at last managed to grasp the edge of that territory. No distance was too distant, that was what he was supposed to have proven. Such a tapered, puny outlook. The qualities were different, the statues were different, the weights were different. The things were different, anything and everything was different. That was not an existence capable of being debated over whether it was within or beyond reach. It was an existence verbatim residing in an entirely different dimension itself. Teresia gradually lowered the hoisted longsword. The sword had been on the verge of slaying Heinko, but stopped in face of the newly appeared enemy. 
the heartless, mobile cadaver of Teresia van Austria, had already lost the pride of a swordsman, the style of a warrior, anything, and everything. What she had right now were only the orders of the caster who was moving her dead body via some secret arts. The optimum judgment for executing them and defeating those posing as obstacles, that was all. And, if those orders prioritized those who could prove to be a threat, her judgment was simply natural. Robbed his ability to resume the battle, awaiting only his demise through blood loss, was the aged swordsman. Having lost all fighting spirit, unable to even flee, was the deputy commander of the knights, only in name. Both of them no longer registered as threats or anything such wise to Teresia. Therefore, turning her longsword, tilting her skills as the former sword saint towards the present sword saint, was a judgment devoid of doubt. Wait, Theresia, look here, at me, Theresia! Dragging his leg, pulling the thread of blood, wailed Wilhelm. As though not hearing that cry, Theresia paid him no heed. As if the exchange of sword slashes until now had all been a lie, she treated him as something not even present. It was humiliating. However, it was even more so saddening. However, he had no time to drown in grief. He would never forgive such stagnation of his current self. He must shout now. He must stop her. Now! Ignoring Wilhelm's racing heart, Teresia leapt at once and shortened the distance. Establishing her aim at Reinhard before her eyes, Theresa cavorted, with her long red hair waving in the wind. The long sword sketched a semicircle, painting an artistic diagonal across Reinhard. However, in the short interval wherein unforgivable was even the blink of an eye, Reinhard nullified the sword slash. Reinhard, who was positioning himself backwards and sideways, was pursued by the tip of the long sword, as though it was a living creature wielding a definitive purpose and slashed the air in its trajectory to its death. Even against the advancing slash, Reinhard's complexion did not manifest even the slightest of change. Simply taking distance with half a step, he remained unfazed. Realizing how unfavorable her position was, Teresia silently flew towards the front. Confronting Reinhard with half of the body exposed would be naught but suicidal. Turning back, Reinhard looked straight at Teresia, whose longsword had set its aim at his eye. Immediately behind Reinhard was the form of Heinkel. Reinhard confronted his grandmother while seemingly shielding his father. Via that alone, Wilhelm noticed this brief offense and defense had been for acquiring these positions. Stop it. What is it? Just what is it? What have I- what have I done? His countenance pale, clutching his own hair, Heinkel shan't notice. It did not matter if his own son was standing before him in order to protect him. The preceding truths he had faced had already surpassed the capacity of his heart. He could not possibly be expected to overcome the situation either. That was how it was from the beginning. Hence, he had no choice but to raise his own voice. Stop, Reinhard. Look at me. Theresa is in the middle of fighting with me. You are not permitted to cut into a fight between two swordsmen. Reinhard glanced sideways towards Wilhelm, who had hollered they were still in the midst of battle. With his blue eyes, he looked at Wilhelm's right leg, yet bleeding. With that state of your leg, you cannot continue the battle. What do you mean? If my legs cannot move, these hands that grasp the sword are still alive. If my hands die, then my mouth. If my mouth will be ineffective, then my soul. As long as I have not lost my life, I have not been defeated. If you have not lost life, then what do you make of her who is in front of your eyes? <laughs> Upon Reinhard's question, Wilhelm's throat choked. Theresia, expressionless, with emotionless eyes, sheer silence, was looking at her opponents. Keeping her stance at the corner of his eyes, Reinhard sought an answer from Wilhelm. A dead body devoid of self-consciousness, merely moving in accordance with the wishes of the caster. 
I do not believe there is any meaning in involving the styles of a swordsman with a deed of someone seemingly toying with the dead. Styles of a swordsman, you say? <sighs> Seeking to do with a mobile cadaver was foolishness. Wilhelm was unable to refute Reinhardt's reasoning. It was the truth that Teresia had already distanced away from Wilhelm, and the battle had come to an end. No matter how much the loser Wilhelm may yowl, the swordsman will shall not be granted. Furthermore, neither could Wilhelm himself loudly assert being a swordsman at present. Standing with support of the sword, the circumstance at hand entrusted to words instead of steel, wishes instead of sword might. Where did the pride and dignity of the sword demon remain in this Wilhelm von Austria? Nothing in such wise existed anywhere. He was empty. The deceased do not move. The deceased have no future. I will not forgive that absurdity. Enunciated Reinhard before Wilhelm, who had lost his voice. His eyes had adverted from his grandfather, and now closely observed solely the cadaver of his grandmother, standing before his eyes. In gentle motion, the dragon sword raid was held to aim for her eyes. Oddly, that stance was identical to that of Theresia's, as she bore the long sword on her shoulders, as though a reflection in a mirror. The unclouded blade of the dragon sword, visible, inordinately shimmering with glamour. That was the ovation of the sword. At having attained a chance to be swung, it felt deeply moved. Felicity, at having to oppose one who was its former bearer. The supreme blade was adorned with voiceless delight. Soundlessly, the blue eyes of the two swordsmen intertwined. The sword saint, wielding his sword, did not offer his name as he was originally supposed to. It was natural. Since that sought an opponent with the value that they would pay back the pride of a swordsman and the style of a warrior. Against an opponent antithetical to that, against an opponent who did not possess the value to be equal, he shan't do so. The atmosphere froze, tension dawned with hue and weight crushed the world. Feeling his entire body get heavier, dominated by a sense of compactness, Wilhelm opened his mouth. Ignorant of the word he should pronounce, compelled by the sense of exasperation stemming from the feeling that he must interject, ironically enough, that acted like a signal for the two swordsmen. Stop! His voice did not reach. Bequeathing even voice behind, the two swordsmen clashed. Stepping ahead, swinging, Theresia's longsword roared and rent the atmosphere as her greatest sword slash at the perfect angle assailed upon Reinhard. In fact, this may have been the slash with utmost refinement and beauty coming from Theresia amongst all which Wilhelm had seen till now. Under normal circumstances, Wilhelm may have been envious of the fact that his self had not been the one to hail out the entirety of the sword abilities sleeping within Theresia. However, at this instant, the motions extending within Wilhelm's heart were disparate, and the volatile something weighing his chest overflowed out by taking the form of certain words. Don't kill her. The emotions he had restrained, the passion he had suppressed, the things must not have wished for, and the love he had admonished, rushed forth as though breaking Wilhelm's barriers. Theresia, of the days of youth. The woman who had caressed Wilhelm's heart, who had made him take notice of the world beyond the sword, the only one in his lifetime, one he would not give up on in, even in exchange for the world, was right there. The beloved woman, to whom he had not conveyed his love to her even once, was right there. She is my Theresia. Words he should not have ever vocalized. Should he become perplexed in a state wherein he might forfeit his life, it would be inexcusable of him to prioritize his emotions. It was a deed that polluted the pride of a swordsman, the style of a warrior, the nobility of battle. That was only the voice of a man, of a man only desperate to not lose the woman he loved. And that call prepared for death was... Grandmother was killed by me fifteen years ago. A voice, quiet and whispering. A voice so soundless, uncertain whether it would even reach. It was, however, indubitably, not but a response to Wilhelm's cry. <sighs> Teresia's sword slash directly smote Reinhard. 
The dragon sword was yet to enter the trajectory of a swing. It struck. It severed. That was how it would look to anyone, and yet... The one over here is a mere fake. Dragon sword raid drew a locus. A single swing, the dragon sword was soundlessly swung, and the clear sword blade, as though in flow, settled within the scabbard. The guard of the sword came in contact with the scabbard, and only a faint metallic rapport was heard. With just that, the battle came to an end. It was the end.